good afternoon. I'm so happy to be here today. It's actually very exciting for me because I feel that Shankara has come into my life at the right time uh, because I'm very much in need of a good skincare regimen. I'm a new mother and I'm exhausted and my skin has been through a lot. Um, you know, I don't want to share all the, all the gory details with you. I don't think that's necessary. But some of you will connect with me and know the uh, tumultuous effects of being pregnant and then being a mother, of not sleeping enough through the day and uh, of running after a very uh, active young child. So I was very excited when I was told that this event is going to happen and this beautiful international brand is now going to be launched in India and they very kindly asked me to be here for the launch and more than that, uh, I felt very lucky because they sent me this beautiful hamper a long time ago, well, about a fortnight ago, of beautiful products for me to actually try and to adopt uh, into my skincare regimen. And I've been using the products because, of course, um, as any responsible person, I said, if I'm going to be here, then I must try the products. So over the past couple of weeks, I've been using the products. And of course, one of the questions I had was, will I feel the difference in just 14 days, in a fortnight? And I was told, of course, by reading the literature, that these products are fast acting. But I can say, having used them, that you can feel them actually getting to work on your skin almost immediately. For example, they have something called a, a daily repair serum. And then they have an anti-age serum. And I use them both together with just a gap of five minutes between that. And you can feel it getting to work on your skin. You can feel your skin tightening. You can feel, um, you know, all the active... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the science because I don't know it, but you can read about it. But you can feel that getting to work and you can see a, a dramatic difference in your skin in a short period of time. And that, of course, as Ashishti told us, is because they blended, you know, the wonderful wisdom of Ayurveda of the East uh, over 5,000 years of that wisdom with, you know, the current cutting edge uh, technological advancements, scientific and medical advancements uh, in the West. And this beautiful emblem that's, that's sort of a symbol of that, uh, which is Shankara. So um, it's beautiful. You were very kind to send me that hamper. I can share with you some of my most favorite products, um, which are, of course, the cleanser, again, which uh, I find because I shared with you also that my skin is traumatized and dry uh, and it needs hydration. And they were kind enough to listen to me and specifically give me things for my skin because all of us, of course, have different skin, such as the lavender neem will be for oily skin. For me, they sent a, a cleanser which had chamomile and calendula because my skin is dry. Uh, there's a beautiful exfoliating mask as well, uh, which is wonderful, which again has all these incredible, you know, whatever, micro crystals. Um, and it also has, I, I actually looked up the internet because I know some herbs, I don't know a lot of them. So for example, uh, I was trying the, the moisturizer and it had something called borage oil. And I didn't know what that was and I looked it up. Uh, and I saw the properties of that and I knew about primrose oil and I knew about all the fatty acids in primrose oil and the fact that we take those pills, uh, you know, for our skin. But borage oil actually has, you know, uh, three times the amount of those fatty acids that, that primrose oil has. So it's got these amazing ingredients. Of course, what's uh, wonderful about it is that it's 100% natural. And again, as Asta said, that's what we are looking for. We're looking to live with our planet. Uh, not just necessarily off our planet, like parasites. We want things that are responsibly sourced. As a pet owner and an animal lover, uh, the fact that this is cruelty-free, that they do not test on animals, that they do not use any animal products, is something that I embrace. And it will immediately draw me towards a product like Shankara. The fact that, again, uh, as wonderful people uh, that make up the brand, that they give back is, again, a philosophy that I love because, as you, as you were told, the profits are shared with a bunch of NGOs and causes like the Girl, Child and Youth Empowerment. So for various reasons, but of course, when it comes to skincare, we are looking for something that makes a difference in our lives, something that you will invest money in and that you will see the benefits of, something that you know has um, you know, products and ingredients that are natural that you trust. Again, as a new mother, uh, I love the fact that they said what you put on your skin which is, of course, the largest organ, uh, is something that you should be able to eat. It should be that natural. And for someone who is constantly with someone who eats my skin and is licking my face, which is also Masti, our dog, and Inaya, my child, I do want to put things on my face that are, you can ingest, you can inhale, 
and you know that they're toxic free. So I can go on about it for quite some time. Uh, I'm just very uh, excited for India that Shankara is here and that they have incredible plans to spread rapidly uh, to all cities uh, and that all of you will be able to try their products and see for yourself the dramatic difference that it will bring to your life. And thank you very much for inviting me here to celebrate your launch in India with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Soha. Thank you so much. Isn't it mesmerizing when she speaks? She looks so beautiful. Well, now I would like to open question answer session with the media. I would like to also invite Mr. Mr. Ashish Pandya and also Mr. Arvind Varsashvi to join us. Microphone. Uh, Soha, hi. hi. Congratulations for becoming a mother and you are looking gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, Soha, urban lifestyle is very hectic. So what's your approach towards a holistic lifestyle? Um, you're absolutely right. It is very hectic and it is very... Um, uh, it has an effect on you both internally and externally. So I've always believed in being healthy um, and my approach to that has been in an enduring way. It's not about something that is fad-based. Uh, it's even when it comes to my exercise, uh, I enjoy doing yoga because it is something that I've been able to do over the years. No matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, whether I was pregnant or not pregnant, it was a form uh, of exercise and meditation that I could continue. Similarly with uh, my skincare, uh, I want to do something that is enduring, something that uh, I understand um, because a lot of things promise you a lot of things. Uh, and of course, the proof is in the pudding and you have to try things for yourself. But uh, I do believe in uh, the wonders of Ayurveda and the wisdom of Ayurveda. I do want to use something that is 100% natural, especially since I've become a mother. I do also want to be in sync with the world. And we are becoming more responsible when it comes to the environment. Those of us who aren't really should be because we need to do this together. So for all those reasons, um, I think that I've adopted also an approach towards beauty that is holistic, that is about uh, internal as well as external. So what I put on my skin, I realize, goes inside me as well. And what I put inside me comes to the outside as well. So they need to, they need to really work together. So what I eat and what I put on my skin, I want to be toxic free. Uh, so, yeah. मेरा प्रश्न आपसे ये है कि माँ बनने के बाद लोग अपने आप को देखना छोड़ देते हैं बच्चे पर ही ज़्यादा ध्यान देते हैं लेकिन कितना ज़रूरी है माँ बनने के बाद भी अपने आप पर ध्यान रखना ताकि बच्चे की भी सही देखभाल हो सके बिल्कुल जैसे आपने कहा बहुत सही है और मैं आपने ये भी कहा मैंने अपने आप को देखना छोड़ दिया आज तो मैं काम पे आई हूँ इसीलिए थोड़ा सच सच के आई हूँ आप घर पे आएंगे तो और जैसे हमारे जो फोटोग्राफर हैं जो कुछ कुछ जो यहाँ पे सामने हैं कुछ कुछ पेड़ के पीछे भी छुपते हैं उनको वो असली पिक्चर मिलते हैं जहाँ पे बाल नहीं बने हैं और ऐसी कपड़े पहन के पता नहीं क्या पहना है ऐसे घर से निकल गए लकली मेरी ज़िंदगी में कुछ और लोग हैं जैसे मेरे हस्बैंड हैं मेरी माँ है मेरे इन लॉज हैं जो मुझे हमेशा मतलब रिमाइंड करते हैं कि बेटा खाना भी खा अभी बाल भी धो लो कितने दिन हो गए अपने आप का भी ख्याल रखना बहुत जरूरी है बिकॉज इफ आई फॉल सिक देन इट विल हैव अ ह्यूज कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑन एन आया सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लुक आफ्टर योर सेल्फ एंड ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बी हाइजीनिक टू बी क्लीन टू बी हेल्थी सो दैट आई आई वॉन्ट डिस्टर्ड हाई सो यहाँ पर सर जी मैनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन यू नो फॉर बिकमिंग आर मदर ऑल्सो जॉइनिंग हैंड्स विद शंकरा ओके इट्स ग्रेट टू सी यू बैक इट्स ग्रेट टू सी दैट चाम ऑन योर फेस बैक नाउ ओके ये जानना चाहेंगे कि फैंस काफ़ी ज़्यादा वेट कर रहे हैं यू नो टू सी सो हाँ ऑन स्क्रीन वी सी यू ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सम इवेंट्स बट ऑन स्क्रीन क्या प्लान है कुछ कहना चाहेंगे एक्चुअली ऑन स्क्रीन आप मुझे अभी जल्दी देख पाएंगे इन साहे बी बी गैंगस्टर थ्री क्योंकि मुझे मौका मिला उसमें एक रोल करने का आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू तिक मानशी धुलिया के उन्होंने मुझे थर्ड पार्ट में ही डेंट किल ऑफ माई कैरेक्टर विच वॉज एन ऑप्शन क्योंकि उन्होंने मुझे फ़ोन किया और पूछा कि अक्टूबर में क्या कर रहे हो एंड आई सेट वेल अक्टूबर में मैं काफ़ी बिजी हूँ आई एम हैविंग अ चाइल्ड Uh, so obviously it's difficult for me to do a movie but they managed to use my character towards the end of the film so to answer your question a short film to maine kiya hai called soundproof which is now doing the festival circuit and which will release in india to do a feature film uh, is a big time commitment and uh, i had made that personal decision to give inaya a year of my life 
uh, of full attention as much as possible. I can step away for short periods of time. Uh, I didn't realize that it's only going to become more difficult to step away. And it's never enough time. But uh, I thought that when she's old enough, she's um, eight and a half months now, I will uh, take on more work. And I'm, I know that she's ready now for that to happen. But the problem is that I'm not ready. The same thing happened with Karina when she was shooting the wedding shooting and she was pregnant. Did you see the wedding shooting? No, I haven't seen it yet. Again, that's because I blame everything on Inaya. It's great. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I do want to see it and I will see it. It's of course doing phenomenally well. I have discussed with everyone who likes it, 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 who likes it. So I know everything about it. But of course, I have to see it myself to have my own opinion. Well, thank you so much, each one of us, for being present here. Uh, lo well, lot of thank you so much for your questions. Thank you so much, Suha, for sharing the knowledge. Thank you so much, press people, media people. Let me tell you, I'm a big fan of yours. So, we'd like to continue for the lunch today. Please join us for the lunch. We'll continue to have one-on-one -on -one media interaction with spokespeople along the lunch. Thank you so much for being here, present here. Thank you so much, guys. Bon appetit.